only way you're gonna stop me is if you kill me. Well, it's wet outside, eh? What's up, Prince? How are you, bro? Good morning, coach. How's it going? Mishka, how are you? Lekker, man. <laughs> yeah, hey, bro. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I came in the court today. What's up, man? So find out what's what now. I want to find out about coach what's what now if we're gonna what he wants to start with so, for this session. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go get changed along and then just warm up. It's been really good. Like I had to change camps and stuff from you know I was at PF, PFC, but then. Uh, you know, for me to progress my training and stuff, I, I felt like I needed to be in a, a different environment, you know. Since I've been here, it's been great, you know. Training hard and really took everything to the next level. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting into the cage again to, to show my new skills. Uh, coach, what's up? Get a warm up. Get a warm up. Easy pad to stop up for a while. finish with a little bit. Sure. Easy work. Easy work. It's been like a year now that I took off. Coming off a loss isn't, you know, it's not the best thing, but it's giving me that drive again to get back in there and get the W. And I'm looking forward to showing off my new skills. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna put on a show for, for the EFC fans. PFA is definitely up there. The, they're the elite. Probably the best in, in Cape Town and if not South Africa. Mike definitely drives a nice family vibe, you know, there's no egos here. It's kind of like we're all lifting each other up to get to, to that level. I've experienced everything. I've made guys bleed, they've, they've made me bleed. So, you know, I've, I've definitely paid my dues in blood and sweat and tears. I have fought guys from his camp before. Uh, I fought against Kenner at EFC 86. Got the win via decision. I know Claude Lee's coming from his camps. I'm sure they're probably going to have the same kind of expectation from me, but I'm telling you, I'm bringing a different game this time. <laughs> You know, I resigned from my job, I've gone full time into this fighting now. I'm putting everything that I have into it. So definitely coming back to get that win and you'll see me on the top soon. So last year this time, I was coming back from, from the States. Spent like three months in California, in Huntington Beach. I was training at King's MMA with uh, Rafael Cordero. I'm half Spanish, half South African. Like I am proud of my, my Spanish heritage and so on. But just as much as I'm proud of that, I'm proudly South African as well. That's why I usually carry the two flags. My fighting name, Rayo, it's also Spanish, it means lightning. So I'm Rayo, the son of thunder, don't forget that name. Watch out for this guy, he's coming. I'm, I'm you coming. Do you have five shorts? Yeah, yeah sexy. Shit, 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 shit. Yeah, 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 Step, step, yeah. Step, step, yeah. Yeah, yeah, step, step, step. Bum, 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 bum. Woo! Only hard work allowed on these, man. No missing around here, man. That's the currency. Blood, sweat, and tears. Let's <laughs> roll. Nice, put me behind, put him. Come, come. Push, 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 push. Getting up at half past four in the morning. I leave my house by five after breakfast. I get to the gym by six. I have our first conditioning session till about seven. Then I hang around at the gym, light movement and stuff till about like midday. Then we're usually putting a one-on-one -on -one session or a pad session with, uh, with Coach Mike. And then in the evening, we, we normally do our skills training, which would either be stand-up, boxing, Muay Thai, or we do our Jiu-Jitsu. Oh, we get set what, like six o'clock in the morning? We in leave here at about half past eight. Every night I get home by nine. We leave when the sun's down. We get home with the sun's down. We're the first ones to arrive, we're the last ones to leave. We're the ones that open up the gym and we lock the gym. Now let me tell you a story about this bike. I call this the beach bike. Because either it makes you, your, it makes you a bitch or you make it your bitch. You decide. Oh, here we go. Woo! Ah! 
You better be fit, my friend. Because I'm super fit. And the only way you're going to stop me is if you kill me. I see this fight done by stoppage. Either first or second round. TKO, KO, submission. See this sweat? This is my currency. And I'm a rich guy. Nature's had uh, quite a long training camp. We wanted to work out some of his old bad habits and give him some new positive ones. We've upgraded his skills in terms of his ground game, his wrestling game. We've refined a bit of his striking. He's dedicated and he's a yes man. So anything I ask him to do or tell him to do, he does without, a, without hesitation or question. Yeah, it's been great having him here so far. He's got a big dog inside of him. He's not scared of anything. Um, he's willing to go to war. I think his opponent's in for a hard night on, on Thursday. We'll make sure we just do a recap fight sim. Make sure you look after your diet. You don't let your weight, weight spike. We get ready for the for fight week, baby. Oh, wait, my brother. Just off. I hate you, my brother. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh, yeah.